Hello, welcome back everybody to another video. I'm your Sim CFI. Means I'm your flight instructor for any simulator purposes. If you have any questions on DCS, Microsoft, or X-Plane, let me know down in the comments and I'll be sure to answer you. I'm also a retired real life flight instructor as well and made it to the airline. So if you have any questions on uh, airline flying or instructing, please leave a comment down below as well. Today, we're looking at a topic that I uh, have been struggling with myself for a long time. And that's getting good performance with good visuals in VR in DCS specifically. The footage you're looking at right now was taken in the Pimax Crystal Light. And I don't pop the frames up, but it's about 85 to 90. This is single player. In multiplayer, depending on the missions, you'll be getting 70 upwards. And if you're playing on Shadow Reapers or uh, the Heapers Cold War server, such as those, you'll be getting that in those 70s, 80s I was talking about. Missions with less assets get higher. So let's dive into it. If you're anything like me, I've been looking for a lot of videos that help me with the Pimax Crystal Light. I've owned a Rift, I've owned a Rift S, I've owned a Reverb G2, and now the Pimax. And the Pimax has given me the biggest trouble getting the performance. I'm rocking a 4080 graphics card, so it shouldn't be a problem, but it uh, turned out to be. So hopefully this video helps you. Uh, Pimax has put in a new upscale mode in their settings that really helped me and I'm also going to be using something called quad foveated fixed rendering which Pimax offers however we're going to be using a third party option because the Pimax version for me limited me to 50 frames it would not get let me go above 50 and I want the nice crisp 90 so let's jump into the video guys I hope this helps you if it doesn't I have a remedy at the end basically just uninstall the software we're going to install and uh and reinstall Pimax play and you should be back to the same default settings so thank you for watching and let's jump into it all right guys now that we're back in the desktop i will be honest there's a lot of moving parts to this they're not complicated there's just a lot of moving parts to it so there is a manual i will link in the description that uh, i believe was made actually by Pimax themselves uh, that i will be referencing and i've used their settings but also tweaked in my own and to for my own pc needs basically so before we start off, I'm using a 4080, a Zotac 4080, and a 77, uh, not 77, I used to have that one, 14700K processor, and that's been the overclock tune number one with the BIOS settings, a default overclock on that, and then 64 gigs of DDR5 at 6400 XMP is obviously turned on. That's the specs, I'll leave them down below as well. First thing we're going to start off with is getting the system ready. So if you've been playing DCS for a long time with VR, you might want to a, run a DCS repair. You might want to delete the FXO and MetaShaders folder uh, too, and then delete it from your recycle bin as well. Now the repair should get rid of this, but I just like to wipe it myself just to be sure. And the next thing is you want to make sure that your NVIDIA driver is one, up to date, and two, if it's not up to date, you're going to click download and custom when you do the download, clean installation, little checkbox, clean installation. So everything is nice and clean on your system from, in, from NVIDIA standpoint. That's step one. So repair, drivers, and FXO and meta shaders. And meta shaders and FXO can be found here. It's the users, the name of the computer, save games, Open beta, I mean the open beta can be, might just be DCS for you, and then meta shaders, this guy, delete it, FXO, this guy, delete it, and then you'd open your recycle bin, delete it there as well. So let's say we've done all that. Uh, DCS repair, by the way, just the fast one, doesn't have to be the slow giant one, just the fast one, and, and just clean, remove all files would be fine. Next, we're going to go through some settings that I have without installing anything just yet. So the first thing is going to be the DCS settings. These are my VR DCS settings. You'll notice I have my resolution here. Uh, the monitor, this is what the monitor will project at the lowest resolution possible. So it's not taxing anything. And I'll kind of just leave them up. I'll talk about a couple of them and you can copy them and use them. Um, the biggest hits for to performance is the anti-aliasing, but with this method, I find it works just fine. We are not using DLSS because DLSS will downscale your image and then use AI to upscale the image to make it look better, but then it causes all these blurs and artifacts, and it's, I hate DLSS, I think it's terrible. It might give you the performance, but it doesn't give you the visual. We want visual plus performance, uh, if we can, the best possible. Uh, the next hard-hitting one is terrain textures and shadows. Uh, with a 4080, I find I can run high. 
but if it's giving you a big uh, problem, this this might cut down to 10 frames or more sometimes, depending on the maps and, th and stuff. So you can try, you can experiment with low on this guy. But shadows are also a big one, and clouds as well. So this is my settings of no motion blur, don't need it, no depth of field, no lens effects. Pretty standard stuff. I might click cursor confine a game window there. Okay, so that's those. Then next is NVIDIA control panel settings. We're going to click program settings. And this is under manage 3D settings and program settings. And then I'm going to find your digital combat simulator in the list here. If it's not there, you can add it the, by the EXE. It should be there. I'm going to scroll down to low latency mode ultra. And then prefer management or prefer uh, yeah prefer power management mode is prefer maximum performance. That's kind of it. I didn't touch anything else. Left everything else on standard. So ultra on the low latency and power management prefer max performance. A lot of videos get very in depth with setting all that. Don't 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 touch it. <laughs> the only one that you might want to try later is texture filtering. You can try to to performance and stuff, but it, I've, I've noticed the graphical difference. It's just things look really blurry at a distance, so I, I don't touch it. So th with that out of the way, we'll talk about Pimax settings now. So Pimax Play, this is for the Crystal Light. And if you use uh, the Crystal Light, I hope this works for you. So you're going to press Device Settings. Room Lighting Frequency, I just have to set to 60. Um, some people leave it on auto. I just don't want it bouncing all over the place. If it's, I just, I like setting one thing, so it's done. Refresh rate, this is the big one here, is 90 hertz upscale. I've noticed a massive improvement with performance with the upscale performance mode there. Everything else I didn't touch. In game, uh, we have render quality is high. So it's just the visual resolution of your screen. And then you'll notice here, fixed foveated rendering is actually grayed out, and I'll show you why. And we, I, I have this unchecked. I've, this is, uh, I've not done any testing with the central priority rendering, so it may be great, maybe not. I, I've never done testing with it, so I'll leave it unchecked. And then I didn't touch anything else uh, here. General, not going to touch anything, and I'll show you why. You just want to make sure you're at the most up-to-date version of the headset firmware. And advanced, I didn't touch anything in here either. So that's it for that. The next thing, uh, you can see I have a lot of pop-ups. So we'll bring up the manual here. And this is for fixed foveated rendering. There's a lot of things you're going to need. The first thing you're going to need is this quad views foveated, sorry, the uh, Pimax runtime. Pimax uh, OpenXR central center, control center. And that looks like this. So this manual will be linked in the description. You can download it uh, through this, and I'll leave all the links uh, separately as well. When you open this up, you're going to want to click Set OpenXR Runtime to Pimax XR. I, I don't check recenter. Uh, for me, my controller is Windows Mixed Reality, although I don't use controllers, but that won't really affect much. And then Prefer Frame Rate Over Latency. I've noticed that using this sometimes has a tiny bit of artifacting. Uh, so if you can deal, it does make it a little bit smoother though. So it's kind of a love and hate. I, I don't know if I like this on or not. I'm kind of still doing testing with this. So uh, I'll click it back on, but you can trial and error with this one, not a big deal. The next one is enable quad view rendering. So this one will be grayed out when you, uh, when you first install that. And this is fine. We're going to leave that grayed out for you because before you install this, I'm gonna scroll down here and we're going to install OpenXR Toolkit. Okay, and I'll leave a link for the OpenXR Toolkit as well. That looks like this. And this manual recommends to start it in safe mode. However, if you're just installing this for the first time, it won't really matter for you because it's just going to get, they want you to restore all the settings to default. But if it's your first time installing it, then that's fine. If you already have it, then start it in safe mode, start the game up, Open the uh, control windows you probably have before if you already own it, and then click Restore Defaults, and then turn Safe Mode off. But if it's your first time, just install it. So now you got OpenXR Toolkit, you got Pimax XR Runtime. Now you're going to need to download Quad View. So you're going to click this little link, give you a bit of that, and we're going to bring you to this page. You're going to click Setup. 
and you're going to click quad views foveated 1.1.3 is what we currently are on. You're going to click that. It, it'll start a download. You run the executable and then restart Pimax XR. So you'd close that. Going to reopen it after the installation is complete. And you'll find that enable quad views is now able to be clicked. So you're going to click it. And lastly, we're going to install, again, not hard, just a lot of stuff to it, the Tally Moose uh, companion app, or Tally Mouse, <laughs> not Moose. Anyways, Quad Views companion app. So you might be thinking at this point, what is Quad Views? So I'll see if they have a picture in here, but Quad Views is a way, uh, it doesn't really share, kind of. Quad Views is a way of having part of your lens rendering at a high resolution and part of the other lens of the sorry, part of the same lens at a lower resolution you can kind of see in this image it's kind of a drastic uh, it won't look like this this is just more of an example but you see how this side's more higher quality than this side so we're not going to obviously set it like that because that would look weird but what we're going to do the settings i'm going to give you is around the corners of your eye will be blurrier and the center of your eye will be higher resolution now the way I have my Pimax Crystal Light set, the corners of my eye, I really have to stretch my eye to see the blurriness. So it doesn't really make a difference anyway, because I can't see it regardless. Uh, you can set the blurriness to be more, less, whatever you like. It's all depending on, on your PC system. So, brings us to this. I have turbo mode checked on. Horizontal focus size, 50% of FOV. So the horizontal and the vertical, how wide left and right and how big up and down of the lens. I want 50% of the lens left and right to be high quality and 50% of up and down of the lens to be high quality. So I'm making a box inside my lens that's going to be high resolution. You can adjust this. However, as you bring these sliders up, you have more of the lens high quality, thus more performance will be uh, drawn, more, more power will be needed. Vertical offset focus, I haven't touched. Foveated resolution. I have this set to 100%. What this means is of this 50% of the box I've selected from that lens, I have a the render quality set to 100%, so it's native resolution, whatever the uh, resolution of the Pimax is, I think it's 3000, it's some, something up there, uh, per eye. So it's high, it's nice, crisp, high quality image. Below that is peripheral resolution. So on the corners of my eye, where I really have to stretch to see them, it's gonna be 10% resolution of the 100. So it's gonna be a lot less quality on the corners of my eye, which is thus gonna give us a lot more performance. Again, if it's too blurry on the sides for you, you can increase these numbers maybe by five, go 55 and like go by, go by fives on each time. And I would adjust both in the same way personally. It would look kind of weird if the left and right is huge, but up and down is a bit of a, you know, not as much. So up to you to, to, to kind of fill with that. I like 50 and 50 though, makes it easy, nice for me. Foveated sharpness, I have it set to 88. This is personal preference. I've just noticed 88 is uh, nice. You can even go to 100 or, you know, test different stuff out. Transistor th thickness is 5% for me. This, uh, I find the higher you go is um, what you're going to notice in the headset is it's going to be high quality in the center. And then you're going to, if, uh, if this setting is high, you're going to notice a, like a distinct line where the blurriness starts. Uh, I have this set lower because I want that line to be nice and smooth transition into the blurriness is what I have personally set. So if you've copied these or done your own, uh, there's also some presets down here you can try. You're going to press apply. Okay, now once that's done, we hop in VR. All right, so now we're in the Pimax. I just have a mirror popped up. You can see this window here. Um, this is the OpenXR toolkit. You bring it up with the control two button. If you don't know what the buttons are for you, however, you can open the uh, uh, OpenXR toolkit and it'll tell you right here. So control is clicked. My controls are one for up, two for down and opening it left and right. So control two to open. 
Let's bring that back into focus. There we go. And control two to keep moving down. So I have turbo mode selected on. If I go ahead and go FPS and turn this on, you'll see in the, in the menus are at 90. I'll go ahead and start a uh, quick free flight. The F4 usually is quite taxing, so be Afghanistan. So the sim's all loaded up. Before we go any further, I want to show you this tool called Process Lasso. I also use this as well. And we are in the unlicensed version, so the free one. And it's completely free. You can pay for it if you want, which unlocks other features, but I don't need them. So we're going to go to Active Process, DCS, before it stops moving there. And CPU Priority, always. And we're going to set that to High. And that's the only thing I touch. Um, some people go all depth with this stuff. I, I leave it there. So CPU, CPU priority to high, always close that. You can see the SIM is loaded up. So you can see in DCS, all nice and smooth. Now I am recording plus the mirror, plus the resolution of this. So it might not be as smooth, but it's still pretty smooth. And you can see the ground getting bigger, nice and smooth. Nothing's kind of lagging at your face. And obviously you can't see the resolution in the headset. However, the center is crisp with the corners being a bit blurred. And again, we, I've shown you how to change that. So the only thing you need to turn on in the Pimax OpenXR Toolkit is turbo mode. That's the only thing I touch. Other things people do sometimes is um, over prediction reduction. So if you increase or decrease this technically, if I start increasing the number here, it will be a, it would take a little bit more head movement to get the VR headset to move is the best way I can describe that. Makes it a bit smoother, especially for recording videos. Uh, but other than that, you be, should be set to fly and enjoy the wonders of good, for, good performance with good visuals, which is the goal. Uh, now I'm going to quickly show you if this doesn't work for you. I'll pause that. What you're simply going to do is uninstall basically everything we installed. So you're going to uninstall Pimax XR. You're going to uninstall OpenXR Toolkit. You're going to uninstall Quad View Companion App, and you're going to uninstall the um, fixed foveated rendering one uh, decimal one decimal three that we downloaded as well from clicking this link if you remember earlier this guy right here I'm gonna uninstall that it could all be found in your uh, settings so to, to find it you just type in t type in anything Pimax click on install it'll bring you to this window and you can search for each one Pimax XR uninstall open XR and so on and then if it still doesn't work, you can reinstall your Pimax Play, and that should make everything default as well. I should mention I had a buddy try this on the Pimax 8KX. That did not work for him. The settings didn't work at all, uh, it's, so it's meant for the crystal light. But after he did what I just said, uninstalling all these four things plus reinstalling Pimax Play, the settings re, uh, re went back to the normal uh, performance he was getting. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Please comment down below if it helps you in your uh, endeavors in DCS. And uh, yeah, thanks for watching. Stay tuned for more, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.